Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial we are going to be talking about how to declare variables that hold letters and names. The name of this variable will differ from language to language, but it is usually called one of two things. It's either called a string or a char, short for character. In this tutorial we will call it a string. When we declare a variable we type in the word string, then the variable name. Strings by default are set to null in most languages. So what if we want to set the string variable to something else? Well again, in different languages we do it different ways. Here is the most common way. Notice how there are quotes around the word Jimmy? In a string variable you have to do this or the code will not compile. So now if we were to print the variable names to the screen, it would read Jimmy. In some other programming languages, apostrophes are used instead of quotes. But the idea is the same. You can't set a variable without some kind of quotes around it. What happens if we put a number in a string? It is exactly like an int. If you were to print the variable names to the screen, it would display a 1. If you were to print the variable number to the screen, it would also display a 1. So are these two values the same? Strings and ints are not the same. Strings and ints are two different things like apples and oranges. Even though there is a number 1 in the string, it is more like a picture of a 1 versus an actual 1. You couldn't add these two together. It wouldn't compile because strings and ints are two different things. Generally with math, you have to use integers versus strings. In most programming languages, you can change strings to ints and ints to strings. Why don't you go ahead and write this down in your text editor. Remember, this is concept coding. Now we can add numbers and names together because they are both ints. So what just happened here? Imagine if there was a machine to turn apples into oranges. That's what the computer does in line 3. We change it so now that we can make orange juice. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.